Hello and welcome from the Bristly Stranger. We are back with some more John Wick Hex and we know that Hex has kidnapped John's buddies. John is kind of, well, we are halfway through the first bit to get to the first boss to learn our first bit of information. It's kind of Babby's first assassination, if you will. Let's just crack on with where we left off. So yes, we were halfway through. We did this tea house with uh, an unreasonable amount of bad guys turning up. We are on the approach. So we are quite close. We are at a doorway. We can just take this guy down. Uh, I, think, I think that's what we're doing anyway. Ah uh, yeah, we have to choose our place. So we are uh, at a doorway. We have got 10 in the mag. We cannot reload with ones from the floor. Uh, our health is a little bit low, but we're on our last bandage. Uh, pause. Oh, we can just wait. Yes, we kind of did this last time. Um, ah, yes, we're going to move back. Uh, we are going to crouch to get a little bit of bonus. Bam. Eight seconds, that should be enough. No, it wasn't. Uh, in that case, we're going to change stance and bandage. Because we're getting a bit low. There we go, back on full. Uh, we've still got six in the clip. Uh, we've got another one here though, point three. Uh, we can't see them anymore. Uh, we will wait. There they are, point one, but they're moving. That has changed uh, what they're doing. We can move up, but we do want to be taking these guys out. Uh, is there anyone up ahead? Uh, so we've got to master the timeline. I don't think we've done that yet. As we're moving, we are... This is a brawler, so we don't really need to shoot. But you know what? We, we can just shoot. Uh, you, we're going to shoot at as well. We are out of ammo now, though. We've got another bandage on the floor there. So uh, this person we're going to throw the gun at going to move up. We are going to take them down to there. Uh, we are going to strike you. Yeah, we got the strike in before that thing went off. Uh, we'll have that gun. Thank you very much. Back up to nine ammo. We have got what looks like another bandage there. Certainly want that. Uh, if we move around here, can we get through? Yes, we can. There is another gun there. We have got another enemy coming though. Uh, 100%. Bam, you're gone. Uh, there is another one over there, 80%. Uh, we have got somebody else over there. Let's go into crouch. It is a brawler. Uh, I'm not entirely sure we do need to be using up all this nonsense. Uh, there we go. Uh, we will change stance. We will grab another gun. Uh, we're going to have a focus. And we are ready to move to the next level. So let's have a replay. Yeah, we take this one out. Uh, there's another one hiding around the corner. This one does get a shot on us. So maybe moving out of the way would have been a better one on that. Uh, yeah, we're both pointing the guns, we're slightly quicker on the trigger. Uh, this one we didn't need to shoot, that one we did. Uh, throw in the gun, take this one out. We have got the brawler that we slap about. Excellent. Back with a gun. Uh, getting our bandage there, of course. So taking the safer route. We get three people pop out at us, but we've got more than enough time to take them all out. Back up to full, and then finishing the level. Excellent. So we have only got one bandage, which is a little bit of a worry, but we've only got a couple here. I don't know if bandages carry on to the next 
level as such. I guess we'll find out. We are at the entrance, though. Who made a last stand on safe ground? Safe. Nowhere in this city is safe. My people lack the protections and grand illusions of the high table. Nothing is sacred. We live outside your pageantry and false currency. So we managed to uh, block that one and take him down. Uh, we did have somebody else. Oh, we took him down. Uh, we are a little bit low on ammo now, but uh, I think that's fine. We've got another gun there. Do we just take that one? Yeah, why not? Keep our ammo up. Uh, I'm just worried that someone's going to come out down here behind us and we're going to get pincered. Uh, we have seen somebody else. They're all the way over there, though. Uh, if we duck, they can't really do much. Uh, although, do we really want to use all of our focus up? Uh, it's a 40% chance of hitting the wall. I'm going to have to shoot you. That is enough, but we're down to five shots. If we wait, yeah, you clear. We've got a hundred percent chance. Uh, we have got enough to shoot you as well. Uh, we have got some more guns. That's good because we're down to our last shot. Uh, moving round. Who have we got? Nobody as yet. Ah, there we go. 100% to shoot you. 180% uh, to shoot you. We did get one back. Must have missed because we're still okay. I think uh, we're going to go back and get that gun though because we're down to four shots. Uh, yeah, we've got another one down there. Let's shoot and miss. Uh, and they missed again. Excellent get rid of that. Um, we obviously won't be able to progress with anyone left behind. Just going to have to keep an eye out for that. We've got a separate room that we can't claim those guns at the minute and this looks like the end of the level. Uh, so we've got eight in this and we've only got seven in that. Excellent. Let's have a replay. So we come in, we had a bit of dialogue, we didn't see that guy sneaking up, but we did manage to block, shoot that one, another block, and take him out. Excellent. I was quite happy with that, I think we were a little bit fortuitous. Uh, so we did a bit of sneaking, we had to shoot this guy, because we can't punch while we're crouching, but we did manage to take all of these out. Switching guns, moving up. There was the guy through the window. We did spot the other one, took a shot. We got lucky on that as well. The guy down below us, again, he took a shot. Crouching might have been the better action because that would have caused him to miss. Uh, and I think that was it. We had a brief consider about the gun, but we are through to the boss. So, yes, on to the boss. Nowhere else to go. So, Luckily, we've got another bandage ahead. Uh, this door has opened. We, we've got you here. Let's just shoot and take you out. We know we've got somebody behind us. So we don't really want to let them sneak up. Uh, we've only got four shots left. But it looks like we haven't got anybody else about here. So do you know what? We'll switch to the eight shots. Excellent. Uh, looks like, yeah, this was the bit that we could see, but obviously the guns aren't there anymore. If we step back, this is a brawler. Uh, now, we could just wait. Uh, looks like the door has opened behind us, though. Uh, we can do a takedown on them. We'll go to there. Oh, we did get shot for 
are messing around though. Uh, this person isn't ready to shoot yet. So we have taken them out. We have got four shots left. Uh, I think I'm going to swap guns to this one and we'll have a look in here. I am expecting the boss. So bosses more difficult. Uh, they have more health and their shots cannot be interrupted. Uh, so if they're shooting, we have only got to get out of the way. Uh, their high focus makes them harder to shoot, so we have to deplete their focus meter with a melee hit. So we've got to get up close, punch them, and shoot them. Uh, okay, melee attacks don't do health damage, but obviously it does stun them. Uh, we don't want them shooting at us, though. So there is the boss. Um, if we move up, we can see that they're not actually trying to hit us at the minute. There we go. That is a stun. We can have a shot. Uh, we can't parry them. Uh, we did take a hit then. So maybe, yeah, striking twice ups that meter. They are trying to move off. Thankfully we're okay. We'll do a strike again. Yeah, that put it around about the same. But we did take them out. Excellent. Watch the replay. So that guy surprised us. We got one behind that didn't. Uh, we switched guns. We went back and switched again. Oh, that wasn't a gun. That was a bandage, of course. It was. Now we have got two bandages carrying through. There's the first one. Maybe a step back again so this person can shoot us from the doorway. We did get all of those though. In the boss, of course, we couldn't see him at that first point. Bam! Uh, another shot. We did need to do a double hit. They did just bang our hits. That is fine. We took them out. So that was completed. We used two different types of weapon. Our shot accuracy, not bad, actually. Um, beat all pars at once. Yeah, there are obviously challenges for each thing. I don't think I'm that worried about that. We can try the whole level again to try and do better. But moving on. Edgar was loyal to the end. He told Wick nothing. A stronger man than many would be in his situation. I presume from your demeanor that this was not the end of Mr. Wick's search. Oh no. He'd barely begun. Why on earth did you bring us here, Hex? It has been wonderful catching up, I must say, but there are other matters we could both be attending to. You are the key to a particularly difficult lock. You see, the high table who rule over your hotel, and the world beyond it, they're a mask. A polite facade, like all governments, over a simple truth. Power defines our place. Power defines our reality. The high table has never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. Well, Maybe not all. All who wish to keep their heads? Hmm. The powerful. You see, they don't respect those who bend the knee. They celebrate them, flatter them, give them titles and lands and the illusion of self-determinism, but they don't respect them. Power respects power. To earn a place by their side, a man needs to demonstrate power. Is that why you plucked his en route? An attempt to demonstrate power? Mm, no. See, killing you on the steps of the Continental, on sacred ground, and fearing no repercussions, that demonstrates power. They will hunt you down. The adjudicator will... will respect me and my birthright. Please continue your story. 
I wonder where Jonathan went next. Elysium. One of Wu's clubs. Cheap thrills and overpriced drinks. It's only admirable quality is its owner. A brawler named Osborne. Man after my own heart. Wick thought someone like Osborne would know where to find me. But to ask. He need to fight his way to the center of a fortress. Okay, so now we are off to Elysium next. Uh, we need to go into the planning stage. We can... We cannot save up continental coins. Use the location budget to stash bandages and spare weapons. Surplus currency is lost. So if we've got three continental coins, uh, in fact we've got ten, we need to use them all up. We... I don't think we're carrying anything through to the next level. Uh, so we need to plan ahead, put things on our route, uh, dodge one cost. Yeah, there's lots of different things. I think we are going to do this next time. I've never done the planning phase. I'll give it some perusal and choose what we're doing. If you do want to see more, let me know in the comments. We'll come back. We'll have a look at how the planning phase works out. If you've got any tips for the planning phase, let me know in the comments below. If you have enjoyed it, do leave a like while you're there. And of course, if you haven't already, do subscribe to keep up to date with the videos. But for now, I've been the Bristy Stranger. Thank you so much for watching, and hopefully we'll see you next time.